Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rodium, and today I'm going to be playing Team Mod Loader with a friend of mine, Rito Gaming. Welcome back, everybody. This is Rito. It's good to be here, Radium. I appreciate the invite. We're going to be playing some Mod of Redemption, and I'm super excited. That makes I'm on the us. Anna the Archer. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, I'm on the Anna the Archer character, and this is the first character I ever made. Um, it was a bow only Calamity playthrough. And so this series is going to explore kind of the story of what she did while the Magnus series was occurring. So it's expanding upon my lore as well as Radium's lore. So very exciting. 100%. So I guess we could just start off cutting down some trees and getting. That would most likely be a going. very, very intelligent way of beginning, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too many options for the start of. I guess we could go and try to run underground before cutting down trees, but that's not good. Yeah, normally I go into my first cave when it's about to approach night and try to explore the overworld. Yeah, good idea. I mean, we're actually getting pretty close to night right mm. now. I've also, since there's two of us, I've made it a medium world, so there's a bit more loot to go around. So all I need to do is find some arrows or some stone. But I'm not seeing any stone around here. Oh, neither. Honestly, I'm going to venture to the left uh, just a little bit to see if we can find a cave entrance. Because um, in the testing okay. with the server, it's already quite late. Oh, I don't even remember. Oh, <laughs> one of the things was those uh, bats, like the moonlight bats. Oh, I recall them. I recall bats. them. They craft a bow. I think that would be oh, pretty dude. sweet. I think it's called the Lunarian bow or something. I remember getting it in my first playthrough. Yeah, it's, it looks pretty cool. It is. Are you to the decent. left, or did you go underground? Um, I went to the left. I'm uh, bringing in some vultures. <laughs> oh goodness! Oh, I'm gonna no. wall myself in. Oh, oh no! Am I gonna? <laughs> no! Oh, Sorry. No. All good. All good. All good. <laughs> jump, all good. Jump <laughs> Just go. Here. Go. <laughs> oh no! Uh, okay. Oh, thank goodness you have torches. I was about to cry because I physically can't take care of slimes. <laughs> oh oh goodness. my goodness! This early game is gonna be interesting, isn't it? Scary. Oh my goodness! Oh no! Wait. How did that? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, oh no. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I, I'm gonna. I have a sneaking suspicion that you left Vein Miner on by accident or something. <laughs> oh no. I'm, okay, uh, well, this is. This is, uh. That's. <laughs> rip. Um, uh, as I a plus, at least it stopped. Miners... Um, well, I guess we should try that again, but without ruining our entire world this time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it just happens again instantaneously. <laughs> oh, that's how vein mine is supposed to work. Thank goodness. All right, I guess now that I mean we don't destroy <laughs> the world again. <laughs> that looks awesome though. It, it does. It's abstract art, one hundred percent. I've got a, I've got a thousand dirt blocks. So if we want to <laughs> oh, make a cool. base out of dirt, we're set. Hey, we've got a mine shop yeah. already. <laughs> oh, nice. That is not bad. Again, I'd normally be speed running at this stage, but I'm gonna. Oh my goodness, another one. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna try not to absolutely destroy this, basically, because, as I said, I normally, like, go for Skeletron in Episode 1 and just burn through my playthroughs, but I'm gonna try not Ooh, to do that this yes. time around. I'll oh my goodness, that. all yours, all yours. Oh, what is it? <laughs> oh, Cloud in a Bottle? That's Thank absolutely you. amazing. Still no weapons for you? Nah, it's, it's, it, trust me, it takes a while. But I guess my safest yeah, option is shooting remember. for, like, a gem stuff. Oh my goodness, another chest. Nice. And an Remember anvil. This one. And in this one. Oh, well, guess what I got? You're going to be jealous of me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so no. jealous. I died and got a flare gun. This is... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Off to a great start. <laughs> I dropped a gold coin, by the way. You may want to pick that up. I've got a bunch of sapphires. Oh, brilliant. Um, That's actually so... an option, because I could go for uh, sapphire stuff. I've actually got 11 sapphires already. How that, many does it take for a staff? I believe it's 8 for a staff and 10 for a robe. <laughs> Thanks we're good, for we're good. <laughs> flooding it. <laughs> we're good. Uh, oh, Hermes boots. Um, okay. Would you like those? Or? No, I'll let you get those. Oh, I got the... Um, what is it called? Cloud in a bottle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I'm really nervous about the fact that I might not get a staff for like another hour of playing. Oh, we'll get you something. Hopefully. There's got to be something that they added to the early game. Mm, I'm going to try and figure that out now. But again, normally just for mage, I literally just go for a water bolt or like a ruby or diamond stuff. And in this world, we're restricted to ruby because no platinum. Yeah, we're going to struggle until weapons. I get myself a staff. Honestly, I might just run to the um, dungeon, see if I can pick up, pick myself up a uh, quick water bolt, just in case. Yeah, let's give that a sh shot, see what you can find. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. oh, I'm nice. put up a wall. Okay, this is the moment of truth, but I'm not optimistic about this already. 
Oh, okay, I got no. these guys held back. Brilliant. Okay, this is a bad idea, but I'm gonna go as low as humanly possible. I guess we're gonna do it more legit. I yep. always feel bad using a water bolt too early, unless it's like a speed run. That's true, which it's so I don't really do good. speed run. Neither here. Let me see if there's anything I'm missing. Oh my goodness, I'm I found a I found... different ore. I'm so angry. I was originally going to choose melee, and you'll never guess what I just found. What'd you find? Enchanted sword shrine, and it's got an enchanted oh. sword. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to die. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh man. Okay, let's just see if I manage to get an Arcalus. That, that's the only thing that'll annoy me more. Nope, Enchanted Sword, I hate you. Oh. <laughs> so, um, is that for, like, no-hit challenges and stuff? That you do 100 HP playthroughs? Or did you do, like, a specific challenge with no heart crystals? Oh, um, e even more, even worse than that, I did a 1 HP for the Worthy Mastermind play for a while back. So... Oh, yeah. It's where you use Terra oh, Saver to... Yeah, yeah. You change your HP we to 1 HP. Oh, that, 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 that was oh, a really good time. Man. Oh, man. That I was... don't even understand. That sounds like just pure pain. It was actually not that bad. The, the, the crazy thing was, Eye of Cthulhu actually took the longest out of almost every boss in the game. Oh, no. Watch out. The Shelly's <laughs> coming for you. I'm going to die. Uh, it's just an extractinator. That's actually really good because with the builder NPC, uh, worst case scenario, we can buy silk blocks. Oh, like, if, if we need gems for one of the staves. Well, as a new one, I just Honestly. got an amazing chest. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, Ice Blade isn't the best, but an Eye of Cthulhu spawner and two Gravitation Potions. Yeah, that's incredible. And I've got some TNT yeah. if you want to just drop it right here. Oh, brilliant. Oh, run. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> We're close low. <laughs> Very uh. infused. Oh, no. Okay, whilst that's running, I'm going to cut this off so we don't overflow this with water. Then we can mine down from here. Uh, I'm honestly so lost in Mod of Redemption. I'm thinking ahead to see. Oh my goodness, that's slush. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> that's I incredible. Have gain miner for slush and uh, <laughs> silt. Oh, this is a nice cave. But I'm going through my head to see if there's any like major ranger weapons Ooh, I can remember. Ore. Oh, brilliant! I'll try to take out this bat while you get the oh, ore. Oh, Ice bats are dangerous though. Watch out! Oh goodness! Oh goodness! I'm frozen! <laughs> I'm frozen! <laughs> Oh, until I get a weapon, it's going to be really difficult because I pretty much have to be defended everywhere I go. Um, should we try and recall and go, like, use the gravitation potions? Yeah, just, let's do that. Just because this cave seems like it's a whole lot of nothing, basically. Alright, um, I guess I'll take the left and you go for the right whenever you're ready. I would say loot them together, but, uh, grav potions are very scarce at this stage, so we should probably make them. Okay, most are you... Did you say you went left? Uh, yeah, I went to the left. Okay, sweet. Oh, brilliant. I've got a Sky Island already. Okay. And, oh, we got a Star Fury that's completely useless. Thank you, game. Uh, we have <laughs> um, Enchanted Sword, Star Fury, Enchanted Boomerang. Ice Blade as well. Ice Blade. <laughs> and I was going to, to go, war I was going to be a warrior. Oh. Oh, I got a, <laughs> a Menacing Shiny Red Balloon. Oh, brilliant. That's actually an amazing accessory. Again, probably more so for you, because if we get a frog leg, that's going to be incredible. Do we need to get any sunplate blocks and clouds or anything? Uh, there's no harm in getting them. Uh, I, I don't know if there's anything like area light tier, like there is in Calamity, but there may be. So I just got a horseshoe. So I've got red balloon and a horseshoe already. So once again, you, you've gotten all the useful items. <laughs> <laughs> I've got cloud in a bottle, Hermes boots, horseshoe, and a red balloon. <laughs> I am so set. Well, and don't don't, don't be sad. Is... I just got a wand of sparking. Oh, you just got a wand of sparking. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, that's Excellent. something. I mean, it does nine damage oh. now because it's not buffed yet, like one point four does. But I mean, I'll take it. Oh, yeah, I don't think I've ever been so excited to hear that you got <laughs> something like that. I'm thinking maybe I should go for a vile thorn, uh, which is the other corruption weapon we could potentially get. Oh, that's a that's a great idea. Hmm. I, again, I would go for a gem stave, but I feel kind of cheap using the uh, architect NPC. Or at least straight away. Yeah, that seems a bit a bit sketchy. Ooh, I got uh, one of the little flower living bloom enemies over here. Oh. Oh, I just got the Heart of Thorns. For real? Oh, okay. Well, let's just fight with my Wand of Sparking. I reckon I'm ready. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> with with a solid 4 it, though, DPS. I'm, I'm down. I mean, well, to be honest, we could probably do it in a little bit. Uh, but on a yeah. serious note, I am nowhere near ready for that yet, but... All it'll take is a couple more items and then we're good to go. 
By the way, I've got like nine right. antlions chasing me whilst I'm using Vein Miner and running away so quickly. Oh god. Hey, I've had a life crystal in this fr uh, very frantic panic. Um, <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> 11 enemies nearby. Well, Let's go. Use that. Yeah, 100%. Whoa, this worm does a lot of damage. Yeah, it does. Also, I think I, I found something. Able to... the... Whoa, what is that? Wait, is this the beginning of the abandoned lab? I do not know. That looks... Oh, maybe this is the Hall of Heroes. Oh. I never actually got to see that in my first time playing the mod. Yeah, I think this is the Hall of Heroes. That's... Or, I don't know. Whoa, there's another mine shaft down here. Oh, yes, this is Hall of Heroes. What? Good luck finding that. I know, that's gen... I, 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 I promise you, if I showed you a picture of my mini-map, that's going to be ridiculous. Because I literally just vein-mined half the underground desert. Um, <laughs> probably not my proudest moment, but I mean, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Was there anything good in the chest oh, by any chance? Wait. Um, let me see. Wait, I can't open it. I took a cursed gem from that uh, weird thing. I don't, I don't know what it's called, uh, but I'm dead. I'm gonna be honest, I'm to just go gonna run. To I'm on 3 HP. <laughs> oh no. Wait. I'm so annoyed. There's something I can make called a spark shovel. It's like a. Wait. It's still a magic weapon. It's. Oh, it's a copper pickaxe that doubles as a wand of sparking. Huh? This is very confusing. My mind. My brain is melting from this. Let's see. Yeah, and it's actually better than the Wand of Sparking. That's brilliant. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, we vein uh, mined our one. That's, that's nice. Honestly, I'm not disappointed Ooh. about that vein mine. Oh, I, I got excited, but it's Feral Claws. I forgot that's completely useless for us. What is this? Plant matter. Oh, that's plant, planty mush. Or plant matter. Planty mush, that's a That's a calamity, calamity. isn't it? <laughs> oh, there's another seed bag. No, every other class is getting items. <laughs> Ooh, I got a flare gun. That's exciting. Yay! Okay, guys, Rito has gone for a second, so what I've decided to do in his wait is I'm going to be crafting myself a staff. Now, I've realized he actually obtained a fair amount of amethysts, so if I go here and craft up some copper bars, then I will definitely be able to make myself an amethyst staff. Now, it is the worst staff in the game, and I do acknowledge that, but it's still better than a lot of things, and having a weapon like this is really going to help in the long run, especially considering this thing does, like, six damage a hit. Oh, okay, we've got a forest golem. I can actually kill these enemies now I have a decent weapon, but I do need to be careful. And, oh my goodness, that's... Oh my god. A meteorite has landed. Um, I have a bit of a dilemma here, because that's genuinely something I should consider, because... Technically speaking, I can get the full meteorite armor and the space gun now. But the thing is, I don't feel like the space gun really fits the medium of mage all that well. So what I might do instead is just allow myself the armor set without the space gun, or if there are any other mage alternatives, I will allow myself the usage of those items. Oh, and I just realized I can also make myself a robe. I'm going to be making the sapphire one. I know it's not top tier, but at this stage, any damage improvements I can get are really going to be helpful. And, oh, not so much damage, but it's still a nice thing to have. It'll reduce my mana usage overall, and it's just good overall. I oh, yeah, think I'm amazing. going to be disallowing the space gun for myself. Uh, the, the, the reason being is because I'll literally just use that up until the Wool of Flesh, and it won't really be interesting, and if possible, I'd like to showcase some of this mod's items. So I'm just going to be yeah, guessing Yeah, I want to try to stay with pretty much mod items, mm. if possible. Are you familiar with the Dig Faster accessory? Uh, yeah, I do know it, actually. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah, that's a really oh, good that... one to get if you mm. don't have it already. Speed things up. Yeah, 100%. Actually... Wait, if it's okay, can I recall back to base? Because I need to make myself a better pickaxe to mine this. Oh, sure. I think um, if you could grab one for me as well, that'd be great. Oh, brilliant. I'll grab one tungsten I'm and one I'm still gold. using a copper. Oh, that makes... <laughs> I mean, I would say the same, but I am using my special shovel. Uh, vein miner is going to make this uh, incredibly satisfying. But this is actually not a great meteor, so... All good, all good. I mean, there is enough oh, here. Wait. They can be massive. Oh man, I do not. Oh, I have exactly enough meteorite for the full meteor set. Brilliant. Sweet. How many uh, did you need for that? Um, 125 exactly. Okay. Just fairly convenient. I wonder if I should craft meteorite, because I'm using I'm using wood right now. 
It is a fairly good set. Let me um, see with Meteor actually if there's anything you could make, as in like a ranged weapon. Okay, well, I'm ready to go. Yep. Uh, same. Right, absolutely. It. Yep, let's do it. Okay, here we go. If we die, by the way, we both have to delete our YouTube channels. Deal. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Okay, 3,800 health was more uh, more than I was expecting, to be fair. I'm going to keep my arrow pointed at the ground. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's the killing ground, the slimes so I can as well. Take out those slimes. This is actually working surprisingly well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> we're good, we're good. I'm going to try to take out all these slimes on the path, and then you can Brilliant, focus on the boss. Oh, it also provides mana stars oh. for me, so I can keep shooting. Brilliant. Yeah, if you want to move ahead of me, you'll grab the stars instead oh, of me. Two Sororia veterans die to King Slime. That would be a good... <laughs> good title. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good title. King Slime's always one of the bosses that I, I feel super cocky going into. And then I get just, like, in a daze after fighting him for too long. Well, 100%, 100%. Damage, and then I start making mistakes. Mm. He, he's a boss that actually, if he catches you in a bad... Oh my goodness, I'll speak of the devil. If he, <laughs> if he catches you in a bad situation, you will die. Because the boss is just so chunky throughout the fight. And since his AI doesn't take any knockback and he just kind of follows you around, he will kill you fairly quickly if he manages to, like, teleport on you. I would say go for the Eye of Cthulhu, but this has taken so long already and I don't think we have good uh, DPS output for now. So probably not yeah. the best move to do. Eye <laughs> of Cthulhu is probably a little bit slow right now. 100%. If we start at the very beginning of the night, it would be possible, but it would still be really hard. I wonder if we could do the Bane of the Forest right here. Um, it's a if I'm correct, you need it. to do this at day, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we probably could do that, like, once this is done. By the way, how do you want to do, like, the end of each episode and stuff? Do you Honestly, do I can outro? probably just do the outro myself. Uh, it's really hard okay. to gauge when we're going to have enough footage. So if exactly. if needed, like, I, I guess I can just do the outro without you if really needed. And we can literally just focus on recording. And we can do the intros and stuff whenever we go. All right, let's see if I get anything I'm, valuable. When I'm filming, I'm always thinking, I'm like, is this when I, you know, <laughs> finish 100%. the episode or whatever? That's... Ooh, I got a slime saddle. Nice. I got nothing again. <laughs> oh, no. I'm seeing a pattern here and one I don't really like that much, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, by the way, did you get a uh, black diamond? Um, no, I did not. I think I didn't Sha pick it up. If uh, it sh shadow diamond. Uh, let me check. Hang on. Okay. Well, let's see. What else? What else do you want to do right now? Honestly, I'm ge I'm genuinely down to try fawn if you want after the night's passed. So maybe you could spend a bit more time like glaring another platform on. True. Yeah. Just to give us a bit more space and to dodge. I might run underground. And try to get some gems, maybe? That's a very good idea, yeah. Because you'd benefit from a hook, I'd benefit from a better stave, or staff, sorry. And there are definitely improvements to be made. Uh, should we just give it a go okay. then? Yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, this may be horrendous in multiplayer, but I'm hoping that's not the case. Oh, here he is. It's been a while since I've done this fight, so this is going to be interesting. Okay. Oh, is that? Oh, oh no. my goodness. I'm taking taking a lot of damage. Oh, ow, 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 ow. I, I, I forget how these attacks work. Oh, no. This is a pretty tricky boss to fight. God. Oh, no. I forgot God. the ground turns into vines. I'm scared. I'm scared. Don't do the slash. Don't do the slash. <laughs> no. no. Oh, I've got a healing potion. He's doing the slash. Okay. I, I think you'll be able to get back in time. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is so stressful. I'm six seconds from spawn. Oh god, that's a very long wait. I did not realize the wait was so long. Yeah. Two, one, there we go. Uh, no, stop slashing! He just got very angry when you spawned back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Did All you right. die? Yeah, I did. Alright, you've got 30 seconds if you think you can do that. I might be able to. Honestly, I reckon it's easier when one of us is alive. I I, I know it's a sad uh, retrospect, but I mean, it's true because these bosses are meant for single player. But I mean, despite our deaths, we have managed to, I mean, to almost stay alive. Oh, goodness. I am, I would not like to try no hitting these bosses, honestly. Not that they're too yeah, difficult. Yeah, this would be a pain. <laughs> Especially Nebulous, the final boss. Like he, he's very oh, difficult. Oh no! <laughs> but the the one thing I said about him in my difficulty videos that a lot of his attacks are very well choreographed. 
Because literal yeah. Paul McSam's font above his head. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get. Um... Oh, I, I got, got a melee weapon. Oh, yeah, I oh, got a melee weapon as well. 